what you need to do is when you're talking to kids about fear and anxiety is you have to acknowledge it. And I, as parents, we want to kind of, you know, we want to solve the issue. We want to solve the problem. We want to make everything better. And we need to work on validating our children's feelings. Only once you validate that the anxiety is real and what they're feeling is, you know, you can't dispute somebody's feelings. So what they're feeling is real. Can you move on to thinking differently? I won't even say thinking positively. I will just say thinking differently. But what we need to do for our kids is we need to validate how they're feeling and then we need to give them space to also help them, encourage them to come up with solutions as well to what it is that they're dealing with. But that central component that most of us get wrong as parents, as teachers, as coaches, is we wanna do away with validation. Oh, don't worry about that. You don't need to worry about that or you shouldn't be anxious about that. What we want to do is we want to validate how our friends or our children or our spouses or our students are feeling. And that gives us, that frees up also energy to focus on creative solutions to a problem or positive or more positive thinking. But if you're bound up in that anxiety, it becomes very difficult to do. So one way to get children out of that, get anybody out of that channel is really to acknowledge what it is that they're feeling.